is up guys it is joe here from joe talks wrestling and what on earth happened last night on monday night raw so a lot of big things happened we had a new faction teased we had a uh, mvp losing the united states championship that he never technically won uh we had the debut of raw underground and that is what i'm going to be talking to you guys about today now raw underground is a concept that I believe we're going to see every week now or you know maybe other every other week it's going to appear here and there and it is basically uh the hit film Fight Club and what it is is basically just an underground warehouse looking place uh it looks like an, a 2k20 arena and it's got a ring in it with no ropes a bunch of random talent on the outside as uh, like fans as like people watching and then a bunch of random wrestlers uh, whether that be you know old talent new talent um, developmental talent coming in and just fighting it's not necessarily wrestling it's literally just like MMA uh, it's an underground street fighting club that's pretty much what it is and it's very strange so Shane McMahon came back and introduced it and we saw Eric we saw MVP, we saw uh, Bobby Lashley compete. They're just to name a couple of the names. There was obviously uh, a lot of enhancement talent, obviously uh, as well. Dio Madden uh, took on Shelton Benjamin and we haven't seen him since he got annihilated by Brock Lesnar. And, you know, that was interesting. But I just want to know your guys' opinions on it because my opinion right now, and this is what the video is going to be titled, is like my thoughts and opinions. I think it's a cool concept but with the current PG rating, there's not really much you can do with it. Um, if it was TV 14, like the Backlash pay-per-view, sure thing, it would have been really cool. But with TV uh, PG, it's like, you know, you can't, you can't have blood, you can't have anything that makes it really like an underground fight club. And there's a lot of things that I wish to see on there. Like, it, you know, it's, it's a platform that can be used for a lot of guys that aren't normally seen much. Uh, so, for example, I don't know, who, who can fight on the WWE roster that doesn't really get used much? You know, you know some Cruiserweight guys, for example. Um, obviously, I'd love to see Alistair Black on there, you know, with his kickboxing background. I'd love to see um, Karrion Cross on there. There's a lot of, of vicious guys on the WWE roster with legit backgrounds. Timothy Thatcher, that would be so cool. Um... You know, like even Shayna Baszler, you know, you know, the MMA style wrestlers, that would be something that would be cool to see. But at the moment, guys, I'm a bit unsure and I think I'm right to be. We've only ever seen it on one episode of Raw. Um, it's got Attitude Era sort of vibes with the female dancers. Like, you know, I thought we were past that WWE, but I don't know. I feel like at best, it's going to be one of them things we see maybe every other week or maybe once a month. I don't think it should be a staple of Raw every single week. Uh, and at worst, it's going to be one of them things in a year time. A year's time, we turn around and be like, hey, do you remember WWE Underground? What the hell was that? But let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on WWE Underground. I really want to hear them. Are you for it? Are you against it? Are you in between? Or do you just, like me, want to see where it's going to go? I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Ah!